Belarusian president warns of further consequences if Ukraine continues fighting. In a recent interview, Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko expressed concerns about Ukraine's potential territorial losses. Lukashenko emphasized that Kiev's decision to engage in land-based conflicts could exacerbate the situation, underscoring the need for strategic reconsideration. During the interview, Lukashenko cautioned that Ukraine might risk losing its entire territory if it continues down the path of ongoing conflict. He voiced his distress over the situation, lamenting the influence of oligarchs that has undermined a nation with significant potential. In a comprehensive YouTube interview held in Minsk, journalist Diana Panchenko inquired about preserving Ukraine's statehood. Lukashenko's response underscored the critical importance of ending hostilities as the initial step. While acknowledging the value of striving for specific territories like Donbass, Kherson, and Zaporozhye, he advised exploring alternative approaches. Lukashenko warned that pursuing these territories through conflict might result in the loss of other western regions. The Ukrainian government aims to restore its 1991 borders, which encompass areas like Donetsk, Lugansk, Kherson, and Zaporozhye. These regions, which chose to align with Russia in 2022, as well as Crimea's decision in 2014 following a U.S.-backed coup in Kiev, remain contentious subjects. Lukashenko visually illustrated his point by indicating the potential for Russia to decisively impact Ukraine's military front. He suggested that Russia might isolate Kiev from maritime access by capturing Odessa, while Poland could expand into western regions with U.S. support. Lukashenko concluded that such developments could lead to a fundamental transformation of Ukraine's existing state. Lukashenko noted earlier in the interview that Russia's main objective in Ukraine had been accomplished, emphasizing the rejection of an aggressive regime at Moscow's doorstep. He advised Ukrainians to establish their identity and purpose before considering their future. Lukashenko highlighted the importance of restoring order based on universally recognized principles and rebuilding the economy while prioritizing the welfare of the population. He drew parallels with Belarus' approach after the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, where they resisted excessive privatization and transitioned differently. Lukashenko expressed confidence in Ukraine's potential, given its natural resources and climate advantages urging the country to take action and initiate change by ending the ongoing conflict.
Singing 